What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today it's Five Minute Friday, even though it might not even be Friday when I release this video. Just some new random thing that I'm testing out. I was really inspired when I saw my friend Justin Jackson working with an HTML table for his pricing grid on his website. And I was like, hey, man, we can do this pretty quickly with Beaver Builder, Elementor, and all these other plugins. That's what really spawned today's idea. Subscribe to the channel if you want more stuff like that. So we're going to look at four different solutions today. Gutenberg, a traditional plugin, Beaver Builder, and Elementor. We're going to quickly set up these pricing grids because there's a lot here. I'm just going to show you some of the baseline features that are happening. So first off, Gutenberg with the Koblox plugin. I've mentioned this before on this channel. Uh, it's Koblox owned by GoDaddy. But we're going to just search for pricing table. And you can see right here in Gutenberg in my post editor, uh, it's going to show the pricing grids. I'm going to go plan one, copy that, plan two, features, copy this. I'm going to do things pretty quickly just to show you some of the interesting features of each, 99, 199, and then I can say buy now, buy now. Oops. So the one thing I, I noticed with the Koblox, by notice, <laughs> uh, one thing I noticed with the Koblox Gutenberg block is it doesn't play well with other themes. I'm using the Chaplin theme here. So we're going to go ahead and preview that. Looks great. Looks pretty easy. That's that's very easy to put in a two-column uh, pricing grid. But I noticed that when I was using another theme, uh, I think I was using Astra, then I tried Generate Press, two very popular themes. This block didn't really style well within those themes. So that's something to consider here. Now, again, this is just one block out of a, probably a million blocks by now. This is just one way to do it. So when I actually click on the, the parent pricing grid block here, you can see I've got a few more options I can play with. I can change it to a three pricing grid layout or a four pricing grid layout. Probably gets pretty compressed on a theme like this. I'm going to go back to two. And I'll just show you, like, once I click inside the block here, you can see that we can play around with things like button color, button styles. So if you wanted your buy now buttons to look slightly different, rounded, a little bit with a shadow, you can play with those options. So it's still pretty robust and lightweight at the same time. I think it's a killer combination for a theme like Chaplin. Let's move on to the next solution. All right, the next plugin on the dock is Easy Pricing Tables by Fat Cat Apps. This is a plugin I've used in the past, and my God, it's a traditional plugin. It has its own little admin screen. You can come here and create multiple pricing tables and drop them into your site with a short code. I love it. I love those traditional feeling uh, pricing <laughs> plugins or any kind of plugin. So I just quickly deleted that column, but you can see here, it's here's your structure. It's right in front of you, very clean, very easy to navigate. If I want to add a new column like I just took out there, you can see I can put plan three. I can say this is 199. I'm going to copy all of this stuff to make my life a little bit easier by now. Um, and I'm going to feature this one instead of that middle one. And I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to deploy it. I'm going to get the short code. Copy that short code. I'm going to go back to my example page, pricing grid. Let's get rid of this block. We don't need this anymore. And let's drop in that short code and preview that page. Boom, there is my pricing grid. Very easy. Uh, one of the cool things here, the reason why I like like traditional short code admin plugins is that I can move these around quite easily onto any page or post, which you can do with the global options of Gutenberg, but I just find this a little bit easier because it just as reminiscent of the old days. Um, you can also do, they have a Gutenberg block, so you can pull in their pricing tables, select it from the dropdown. Boom, it drops it in right there. Pretty easy plugin. I really like it. Very basic. It's got some some fairly decent free styling, but of course, if you buy, uh, if you do buy the the, the plugin, you can get uh, some more styles. You can play with the font sizes here, the button colors, uh, all in the admin here. And again, the pro version I believe comes with some more uh, designs. So check it out, the pricing tables plugin. All right, now we're going to look at the Elementor plugin. Uh, just a caveat here, you do have to have Elementor Pro in order to get the pricing widget. Same thing is going to happen when I talk about Beaver Builder. You have to have their paid version in order to get access to the pricing table. Now, let's go ahead and search for pricing. We're going to pull in the pricing table. Whoops, I actually can't do that first. The caveat that I needed to show you was what you have to do is set up your structure first. Uh, you have to have two columns ready, and you're going to see... Uh, the reason why in a second. So I'm going to set up those two columns, which doesn't look all that great in this theme. But let's go ahead and do pricing table. 
bring that in. And the cool thing is, whoops, the cool thing is, is it sort of sets it up for you and you kind of see all of the, uh, what the design and the layout's going to look like. So it helps you visualize it pretty quickly. And you can come through and modify all of this stuff. There's some fun things like the sale. Uh, that's pretty cool. You can set up like a sale feature. Adding features is really easy. So you can just make this nice list. You can change the icons. If you want to do some fun things with the ribbon, like show it as most popular or not, you can do that stuff. Uh, but if you wanted to make that other column, this is where you know, duplicating it comes into play. So there's, it's not like you just go into the settings and, uh, and then just drag it. You have to duplicate the element first or the widget and then drag it over to your column. So just a little bit of a, of a nudge of understanding, like where the other ones, you simply just click and it adds another column right alongside of it. Pretty easy to understand. Um, you know, at first, if you're doing this stuff, you have to realize that they treat them individually as individual widgets, which is good and bad. Just a little bit of a bump there to uh, to do that. And then if you needed to add more uh, uh, columns, you would just add the columns in Elementor. Uh, but I like it. It's pretty powerful. You can get really granular, again, with styling this. Of course, you need the pro version of Elementor. Let's move on to Beaver Builder. All right, here we are in Beaver Builder. Again, this is not the best theme to demonstrate this, but for all intents and purposes, we're gonna show you how to add this pricing table with Beaver Builder. So we're gonna drag in the pricing table option. Again, like I mentioned before, you do have to have the pro version of that. And this one is a little bit more clumsy of all of the solutions, you know, you could argue. Uh, but if I go ahead and edit the pricing box, I can just say uh, price one, uh, the price is actually 99. I'm going to say year feature one feature two, and then I'm just going to duplicate it to make feature three, three button. Uh, I'll just add an icon just to show it. Let's just do this one and we'll say bye now and save that. Now, tons of options here still, though. So even though it took a little bit more to set up, this is what it looks like by default. Uh, it is pretty quick to, uh, once you get it set up, to then just replicate that uh, pricing grid uh, across, right? And now you have, just like Elementor, it's, you know, you have to replicate the element, but it feels a little bit more contained in Beaver Builder than Elementor does. Uh, and that's just, a, again, a little sp speed bump in the learning curve of setting up the uh, pricing grid. And you would just come into this column here and say, hey, this is called price two. And this one's actually 199. And then we'll save that. And you'll see the changes right there, 199. You could change the icons, look and feel the colors, just like Elementor. Uh, so just a few more steps in order to set up a pricing grid, but nothing super drastic. So that's four different ways to set up pricing grids. The first two I showed you were free. It's Gutenberg and Koblox plugin. That was pretty awesome. Works well with the Chaplin theme. You just have to test other themes to see how well that works. The second was the Fat Cat Apps uh, pricing grid. Super easy to use, very traditional short code driven plugin. Maybe not as fancy and as slick as these other options, but works great for being free. And then these last two, Elementor and Beaver Builder, again, on the paid versions, but really powerful. You can get super granular on your design. I hope that helps some of you out there. I know this is just a fun little video that shows you how to set up pricing grids in four different ways in WordPress. Hope you found it useful. Subscribe to the channel. If you want more, thumbs up. If you like the video, share it with your friends and family. We'll see you in the next video.